I just want to get out ahead of this, because it's happened every time so far, and we're not learning from it. It's very silly to be mad at people for getting a higher egg total than you in Salmon Run. Even if there were money on the line, like, man, there's this whole Salmon Run community with years of experience, and people who work for free making guides and teaching people how to do what they do, and practicing all the time with people all across the world and entering competitions, and to look at someone like that who lives and breathes this game mode, someone who would sit down and teach you everything you ever wanted to know and more than you imagined there was to know if you just asked and really meant it, someone who loves the game more than anyone else, and you say you don't like that they enjoy it like that. What are those priorities? I can't get behind that. And there isn't money involved either! People say really mean things, directing them at strong Salmon Run players. Not because they didn't get a digital cosmetic that's only ever displayed in the in-game locker that serves no other purpose than to be decorated, but because they got one that was a different color than the one they wanted. It's something people want to get good at. And when it's something people want to get good at, you're going to see some really impressive things. And if you really want to push for that top trophy and learn to do those impressive things, you know what? Top 5% isn't actually digging that deep into the overfishing community. Put some time into really learning it for a few months, and you're going to be a lot better at it than most players. The crazy world record setters are down in some fraction of the top 1%. They're not the ones setting the bar. It's reachable. It's hard, and I personally am lucky to hit the top 20% when I do, but even when I'm only hitting bronze or something, I'm not bothered, because I know that there are people who care about improving at Salmon Run more than me, and have the same strong learning mindset about Salmon Run that top PvP players have about tournament play. Even in the PvP modes that I practice more, I may get upset at my own performance, I may be salty, but I'm still going to say GG. I'm still going to acknowledge that there were other players involved in that competition, and that sometimes it's not that I screwed up, but that other people did extraordinarily well. Because I'm not the main character of Planet Earth, and sometimes it's someone else's turn to win at the Squid Paintball video game on the Nintendo Switch console. People who are, quote, sweating, unquote, at this game are not ruining the experience of playing it for you. What's making you unhappy, what's ruining your experience, is a mindset that's not resilient enough to failure. One that's probably also getting in the way of trying to learn and actually improve, because that's what negative emotions do, and that's the reason they're negative. You can't blame people who love Salmon Run and want to spread their love of it to as many people as possible and create a community around it for making it less fun for you. Take responsibility for the placement you got. If you don't like it, set some improvement goals, aim to learn some things, make a stronger go at it next time. Instead of aiming negative emotions at the people who got that top 5%, go into their streams and ask them questions. Take their answers, go into games informed by them, and practice the new way you intend to play based on them. Think critically. Analyze your deaths afterward to figure out how to avoid them next time. Learn the roles the weapons play and how to game plan. Taking the time to do that is going to make you one of the top 5%. There are only so many people who play Salmon Run that are interested in actually getting up there and doing the work that it takes. There is absolutely a spot there for you if you work at it. Either that, or just decide to be happy with the time you spent with the game, with your friends. Decide that, you know, a different color trophy would be cool, but that you're okay with someone who wanted it more than you getting it. Because you have other priorities in your life, and that's fine. That's really mature and confident and secure of you to recognize and make peace with. You're not locked out of playing. You're not locked out of having fun. Just because when someone else plays and has fun, they make a bigger number show up on their TV than you do.